Hi, this is Fred from Creator. I've been with ESP for uh, almost 20 years now. So when you do a hundred shows a year, you need to have instruments that look great, that sound great, and that are uh, roadworthy. And uh, ESP instruments, they, they're just that. So uh, that's why I've, I've been with ESP for so long. To me and many others, ESP is synonymous with metal music. I mean, uh, if you take a look at the artist's roster, you just see for yourself. I have a, a very special, unique relationship with ESP. I think I'm the only one endorsed actually for both guitar and bass. And I've had uh, my signature series, the first one that came out in 2008, FL600. And now it's about time to have a new signature series, the FL4. So the FL4 has a unique F body shape with a colorway at the bottom. So that's the only base in the product line with uh, that specific shape. About the finish, uh, it's called Bloodburst Satin and it's brand new. It's inspired by the, um, some of the ESP uh, custom models that I have at home. It's a thinner burst that they usually do. So it has a cool modern look uh, and it fits the, the body shape. The base has a unique red dot inlays and they match the, the finish of the bass, which is kind of cool. For the pickup, I'm using EMG. I'm actually an EMG artist for many years. Uh, this one is called the EMH354, Presence and Definition, which is what I need. The position of the pickup it's here for two reasons. The first one is because it has a, a cool, even sound, but also uh, sometimes I do play with my fingers and that's a nice spot for me to rest my thumb. So that's why it's here. As for the bridge, it's a hip shot, A style, string through body. The reason I chose that one is because the corners are uh, softer. I tend to play like a little palm muting. Sometimes with the, the normal bridges, it does cut my hand, so this one uh, it's very smooth. Ebony fingerboard, 24 frets, neck through construction, which is great for a sustain. It's a five piece maple and purple heart neck. Headstock, Grover tunings, and uh, my signature at the back. So yeah, now you know everything about the FL4, so go to your local music shop and try it out yourself. You won't be disappointed.